Refusing to define an assault weapon during congressional hearings is nothing new for the ATF. Neither is wanting to squash the rights of Americans or, frankly, even setting them on fire. Which says a lot about what kind of organization the ATF is. You could easily swap out ATF in a sentence for the word mafia or gang or rogue government and not much would change. Pretty much it would be the exact same thing. So it shouldn't come as much surprise that despite not knowing what a word means, ATF Director Steve Dettelbach is jumping on the Biden boot and revealed he's looking for an assault weapons ban and not, as he put it, just to be cute. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is brought to you with the help of Blackout Coffee Company, who uses their coffee for good and partners directly with some of your favorite gun rights groups so that the proceeds from partner roast blends go straight to the causes you think matter most. To help support the channel and the Second Amendment, go to blackoutcoffee.com slash libertydoll. All right, folks, so this video is about the second little nugget that we got from the ATF director who was speaking at Harvard's Institute of Politics this week. The director was asked what's next on his gun control wish list and what he wants Congress to work on. He gave the usual talking points about universal background checks and then took an immediate pivot to an assault weapons ban. But not just an assault weapons ban, that Congress or Biden should specifically give the ATF the power to enact one. Not so much that Congress should pass it themselves, but that they should give the ATF the unlimited power to do it themselves. He added that he wasn't saying it to be cute, and I believe him. That is very much the opposite of cute. I'd be curious to know what is on your wish list if you could ask Congress for any number of powers or authorities, what would be on that list? So, uh, you know, I think I've talked about things that I think were on my wish list, but, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I think that uh, it would be uh, helpful if uh, we had uh, uh, universal background checks in this country. I think that's something that seems to make some sense. The president has repeatedly called for that. I've said publicly I think it's a good idea, and I do. I, I, uh, uh, and uh, the president has also said, and I agree, that we ought to uh, uh, consider and actually reinstate uh, uh, a ban uh, on certain types of uh, assault weapons. And, and, and then the next question always comes to me, well, what is an assault weapon? And I, I'm not trying to be cute when I say this. It is, it is emphatically the job of the United States Congress to write a definition that neither sweeps too broadly nor too narrowly. And that is not an easy thing to do, but people get these important jobs not to do easy things. ATF will be, would be there to, to advise them. If, if Congress wanted to delegate to ATF the rulemaking authority to do that, of course we would do it. I also know that Biden has been fond of giving the ATF directives that they have no business doing. And uh, no one wants to vote for him anyway, so what the heck? Maybe? <laughs> America is in a bad place, he told the students of Harvard, and that an overemphasis on the Second Amendment has gotten us into this position. He said that the Second Amendment impairs public safety. Which is not at all the kind of thing that I like to hear coming out of the mouth of the guy who is directing the alphabet agency regulating the Second Amendment. And he once again declined to define what an assault weapon actually is, saying that that is Congress's job. Not to decide if they want the ban in the first place, just to, just to define it. And he's right in that if something like that were to be defined and regulated, it would have to go through Congress, if we're <laughs> being legal here. But that hasn't stopped the ATF from redefining words like willful, machine gun, and firearm. In fact, in recent years, the ATF has made it their business to define and redefine words without congressional approval or input, and that's why their definitions keep getting taken to court. Dettelbach told the students that an assault weapons ban is part of a two-pillar approach that the country needs in order to stop gun violence, and that the other pillar is a gun registry. <laughs> that one is covered in this video that I'll link up here. The TLDR on that one is it's just an excellent example of government mental gymnastics. 
Violence won't end until we can track all the guns, he told the students, and it is Congress's pesky ban on a federal gun registry that is part of the problem. Which they're subverting completely, but again, trust me, watch that video. Either way, his refusal to define an item that he also wishes to ban is proof positive that assault weapon is nothing but a political term devised to spook the public, which I covered ages ago in one of my first ever videos, the production value of which now honestly makes me cringe. The term was made up for political gain by Josh Sugarman in the 80s, and it stuck. Loosely defined as a gun with certain cosmetic features in the 90s, it has now become a catch-all for the gun I want to ban and, in some states, even includes 22 rifles used for hunting squirrels and rabbits. Gotta stop that rabbit violence. At the end of the day, according to Dettelbach, some of this comes down to the fact that those pesky gun owners put too much value in individual rights. Right? People who, who have the view that their rights, their sort of individual rights, are the only thing that has, should be taken into account. Which to me is just not who we are as Americans, right? Again, not the kind of thing that I like hearing out of the director's mouth when he's the one who's supposed to be regulating these items. You see, the key to the great American utopia is not having individual rights. In fact, according to Dettelbach, owning a gun is selfish, and he just wishes that the rest of the American people would see it that way. Which again, makes it clear why he was chosen to lead the ATF. That is it for this video, gang. Please like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Ring that notification bell so that you are always updated with the new videos. And as always, thanks for tuning in and happy shooting. No matter what the ATF says.